Good morning, everyone. It is the 14th of November. I'm Pastor Tim at First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. And I just want to share with you a little bit more about Cornelius. See, we have to understand that God... God is looking for that those that desire to please Him and honor His commands. 10.2, which says this, He and His family were devout and God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to Him regularly. So Cornelius is a centurion of the Italian regiment, uh, was a very important man, but it was not for the reason that God took notice. Jonah, just as Noah in the New Te Old Testament, found grace in the eyes of God through his obedience and just his ways. So Cornelius got God's attention. Listen to this. Corn Cornelius was purposeful and intentional in the way that he feared God. Look at Psalms 1, 1 through 3. He set an example for his family and others to follow. Verses 2 and 24. Listen, for you, for you to experience God's help in your life, you must pursue the things that please Him. Jesus said, if you love my, me, keep my commands. John 14, 15, Proverbs 7, 2. Let me just take a few moments of, of that one statement that, that I read to you. Cornelius was purposeful and intentional. We need to understand that as Cornelius had a purpose in life, we, you and I need to understand that we need to have a purpose in life. Our purpose is to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Our purpose is to do unto others as we'd have them do unto us. That's in the Bible. And, and the fact is, when we grasp this purpose, whatever we do, um, it, it's, it's amazing that it, we, a lot of people do stuff with no purpose. There, there, there's an idea that that you can do something and without purpose. It's like going, getting in your car and say, "I'm just going to drive, and wherever I end up, that's where I end up." And I know that people have done that just for fun, but the fact is. For me, I'm one that person that has to leave point A, and I need to have a map to get me to point B. I have a purpose. And the fact is that you and I need to understand that God has a purpose and a plan for us. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. The plans to make you prosperous, you know, look it up. I can't quote it right from my mind right now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting over it cold. Anyways, but you understand, he has a plan and a purpose for your life. But we have to grasp that plan that he has for our life. We have to be intentional, intentional about what he's calling us to do. You might be sitting in front of your computer as you watch this, and you might be saying, well, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my intention is. Let, let's take that word purpose. I love the word purpose. Purpose is, is doing. Purpose is planning. Purpose is driven. Intention is guidance. And they go together just like being intention. To this morning, my purpose is to share the gospel with you, share a scripture with you, share devotional time with you. My intention is that you understand and become hungry for the Lord. My intention is not to be some computer internet preacher, but to share the love of Christ with you, to speak into your life every morning, Monday through Friday, that is my purpose and intention. And I hope it's okay, because you keep showing up, and, and I keep showing up. And guess what? God keeps showing up. And in that, He's speaking to each one of us. So wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, stop and just think, God, what is the purpose for my life? And then you become intentional about it. Amen? Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you give them a great Wednesday in your name. Amen. Hey, I just want to invite you to church tonight. Tonight we have uh, Jeremiah 3 in the adults Bible study. Also we have uh, youth group, kids church, uh, girls club, boys club. Great time. 6.30 to 7.30. Come out and join us. 9th and Yuba in Burlington, Kansas. God bless you. Bye-bye.